Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford. Today we're going to be working on uh, what the anti-aliasing options do, and I'm going to show you the differences real quick and um, tell you a little bit about them. So what Photoshop's anti-aliasing does is it helps make the text appear smoother by uh, painting the edges of the pixels of the text with uh, some semi-transparent colors. So um, since everything in here is made with pixels, all the text is made with pixels, the uh, edges sometimes appear ragged. So let me zoom in on this. So let's go to some something like 100%. All right, and now this is one, oh, that's 200. I wanna go 100. Oh, dang. All right, this is 100. And now you can see that um, the text is actually pretty jaggedy on the edges and everything like that. I'm gonna make this smaller so that we can see it a little better, all in one. And I'm gonna have to uh, change this. There we go. So here we go. I can still even make it larger. So we can even see it better. Let's go to 30. Yeah, there we go. All right, here we go. So you can see that the edges are pretty jaggedy and everything. And uh, we want to use our anti-aliasing options to fix them up. So we're going to go through each one of them. All right, let's go through to sharp. And you have two, two ways you can do this. You can do it in your character panel here, or you can do it up here um, in the options panel. So let's put this on sharp, and you can see how sharp looks. All right, crisp. Now this is doing every single text in here, just so you know. So they're gonna all change. This is what crisp looks like. All right, let's go to strong. That's what strong looks like. And smooth, that's what smooth looks like. So my favorite one to use is always usually sharp. Um, yep, pretty much sharp is the one that I usually use if I want to uh, add some anti-aliasing text. So um, when the uh, anti-aliasing works, it usually does it from with like six pixels or something like that, somewhere around there. And if you're using a small text, like a size like 12 font, let, let's bring up a let's bring up like a really small font like here eight points it starts making it a little harder to read when you have um, the anti-aliasing on there so this is none and then here's with some anti-aliasing it's actually not that hard to read I guess in this one but um, usually with this text but usually with some other texts if you add it on there it doesn't look so great just uh, keep that in mind when you're working with uh, anti-aliasing but otherwise um, you want to use it it helps out a lot so that's it for this tutorial um, that's our anti-aliasing options and what they all mean and what they look like um, actually I need to go over what they mean real quick I forgot about that so let's make this bigger and I'll tell you what each one of these actually does I just showed you what they look like I want to show you what they actually do alright so sharp here um, it just visually sharpens the uh, type in the layer just like um, if we're using like the uh, sharpen adjustment now crisp um, is just not as sharp as the uh, sharp option it's kinda I don't know it's, a, it's al almost it almost as good but it's just not as sharp um, the next one we've got is strong, and that creates a heavier type. So I'll put out strong, and it just makes it heavier. I mean, you can't really tell a whole lot of difference, but um, that's what it is. And smooth just obviously makes it smoother. It's because uh, it's called smooth. So now we can end the tutorial, and uh, that's all I wanted to show you. So now, um, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, have a good one.